Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I wanted to share with you my favorites currently available at Cos Arcade and Andalus Stories. These are some pretty basic places to go shopping in the accessibility, the availability and also the price for like the quality point we're at. It's just for me always a good place to circle around, go shopping and also like look for whatever I need at the moment because you know the sizes of the stores and the fact that they are uh, chain stores just means that whatever is sort of like in at the moment I might be looking for is usually available at a pretty good price and quality point there. So I made my round for spring, found some favorites and I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, each individual piece. If you're regular to my channel you know that I really like to ramble on and on so I'm gonna try to keep it to a medium for this video and only include like what's actually like nice and good to know. So something that's really in this season is short trench coats and now obviously just because something is on trend doesn't mean that you need to go and get it but for me it's it's a pretty good fit for like my wardrobe as is already so I went out and secured mine but mine is from like a department store local to Copenhagen where I come from and while I will be linking that below there are also some really good options available right now at some of the stores that I'm talking about so cos right now are making two different versions one of them is a little bit more trendy this is a very cropped trench coat and then also the arms are like quite large it also only exists in one size and it's quite warm to I think this is probably primarily a good option for those who are a little bit more like out there and want something with a little bit more of like a twist instead of like the classic style which is something that I usually like to get. This one is made of cotton and then also has a little bit of polyester in it but just in my experience with these brands for a lot of items if there's just a bit of polyester in it, it doesn't really matter. It's usually pretty like good quality and steady quality uh, regardless. But Cos also do have another option right now, which is uh, definitely a little bit more classic. It has a very like straight cut and the fabric is very like stiff in a really, really nice way. So it's really well structured. It's one of those things where like it's probably not going to wrinkle a lot. You know, it will sort of like take care of itself. And um, even though it's really thick, it's made from 100% cotton and then it also has like a viscose lining. I have a cool tone wardrobe and this is quite yellow. The one that I bought from, from for my wardrobe is a little bit more oat but there are just some warm color, colors that goes with the cool tone wardrobe and vice versa and in my opinion I mean this is a great fit for like a one tone wardrobe but it also worked out quite well with like the, the cool tone base outfit that I was wearing and about the base outfit I'm wearing by the way I'll be wearing this in all the stores it's just because I like to go shopping in something that I would actually wear and then you know I get to see things like work out with my wardrobe but yes this is definitely like a really good option where the one uh, showed right before you probably need to look after it a little bit more in order to like keep it looking good as you are wearing it and I'm gonna move on to like what else is available at cost but I just want to throw two more trench coats in here right now that I didn't try on because they weren't available at stores in my area but actually one of them I bought and returned and that is the one currently available at Arcade but this one does have a quite a significant cut of linen to it and it means that as soon as you like put it somewhere and put it back on it looks quite wrinkly like in my opinion it really doesn't keep itself looking good it's quite high maintenance in that case and maybe that's just how I associate a trench coat I really feel like a trench coat should have that more like a stiff cotton-esque look so I would uh, just personally this is not for me this is something that I would pass on just for the reasons that I already mentioned but then there is one more option also available for this uh, trench coat trend at these stores and that's the one from and other stories. Unfortunately, I do not have a picture of this because I tried it a little bit of a while back and I actually thought that was the one I was gonna get but then I ended up with the one that, you know, I ended up with. But the one from Another Story is just like the one from Cust that I liked is like such great quality. It's really stiff. The thing with this one is though that it's sort of like double-breasted which means that when it's open, you know, it might not show off uh, your outfit which I know that some people are not as bothered by as like I would be but what I have done with like my regular trench coat, the Burberry one I've had for a couple of years is that I will literally take like safety pins and then just pin down this uh, this part actually because I don't need it closed and then um, it holds itself like this pretty pretty well so had I not gone for the one that I had I would have gone for the one from uh, and other stories and the fabric composition is really nice as well obviously I'm linking to everything down below and always remember in the description of each item you can look at exactly the fabric composition if I don't mention it in the video now that we've gotten that out of the way another trend that's in right now is one that I am wearing and that is a short or cropped 
cropped wool jacket. Now the one I'm wearing is from Sarah. I stumbled upon it in the fall actually and the color just goes really well with my wardrobe and my complexion so I really wanted it but it is cut with polyester uh, and again it's Sarah so the polyester they choose just in my experience doesn't hold up that well either but I'm getting the dry that I can out of it but it is starting to like peel a little bit but for pretty much honestly the exact same price you can get something which is 100% wool and which is proper felted fabric that is not really gonna peel. I will have a folder with all of my favorites linked below, but the one which is available at cost right now, which I found in store, is the gray one. They do have ones just with buttons, just as with this one, which are also really high quality. But what I really like about the, the gray one is that it does have a zipper and it also has buttons, but like the zipper closing, I don't know what it is about it. To me, it just makes it look really expensive. And again, the fabric is really thick because it is 100% wool, it falls really beautifully. Beautifully, and I haven't tracked the wear of this obviously because I don't own it but this is usually something which in my experience will hold up for like pretty much you know ever like it's a permanent piece within your wardrobe yeah I mean that's not really the purpose of this video but I could come up with so many nice ways to wear this jacket so this is probably one of the things that I might actually end up adding to my ward own wardrobe even though I haven't done so yet but like adding something like a red bag to this uh, yeah, it will look real good. Then I also saw a very thin uh, wool cardigan. I'm not gonna get too into it because it is just a wool cardigan, but because it is so thin, it's something that's really easy to keep with you. And now that we're entering spring, you know, we're wearing these nice spring jackets, but sometimes we might need to bring something like a sweater or an extra layer. And this is just a tip I really like to, to follow for myself. I usually have actually like a slightly thicker cashmere cardigan with me on these types of nights so that I have something that I I can add to my outfit that it doesn't take up a lot of space as I carry it around and because this is so thin this is definitely it so I probably wouldn't style this this is just something that I would uh, keep around as a layering piece but I just wanted to show you guys that that's available right now at Cus. Then I am usually asked about quality basics and this is something that I struggle with a little bit myself sometimes as well. Pretty often I will get what I need at Sarah and it's never a good choice but Cus and, and other stories also I mean actually all of the stores they do usually routinely have some pretty good basics available and whenever I get something from there it really holds up quite well but it also has sort of like a distinct style every time but right now for example they have this white basic available it's a little bit too loose for my liking I like something that's quite fitted but this was a crisp white and it's completely opaque uh, and also like the feeling of it the thickness of it it just makes it like extremely like it just makes it feel really luxe but it's definitely not a sweater it is a basic top like it's not sweater thick then also something that i know we all sometimes routinely are looking for is a white button up there is one available right now at cost they also had this exact one uh the last season i haven't gotten it yet just because i'm really not budgeting for a nice white shirt right now like i do have something already within my wardrobe which i use but if you are on the market for that then this is just such a beautiful option i usually feel like i have the problem that these button ups are either like completely form fitted or they're too oversized where this is just like right there in the middle and yeah pretty thick as well almost opaque so just wanted to show that option as well then you know obviously this is my channel so i am gonna pick out the things that i like and i have been riding the denim wagon uh this this season around i really like that trend is back i've always been a big fan of denim and right now they have this like form-fitted mini dress with these like frayed sleeves and it's just so cute i might get that one as well to be totally honest but then again it might be a little bit of a fantasy item in a sense where like it's not something that i'm gonna be wearing that much which in and of itself is not such a big problem but I've already bought a couple of things like that in denim this season already, so I might not need it. But this is really nice and it also has just like a very, very, very slight stretch to it so that it hugs your body in all the right places. And I just wanted to show it off. Then I also found two pairs of jewelry and Cos, in my experience, does pretty well on the jewelry. I've had a pair of earrings from there in gold. Unfortunately, I lost one of them. So, you know, after that, I stopped wearing them, but I had them for almost a year year and they never tarnished and that I haven't found to be true for another stories like
like I do have jewelry from another stores but I'm extremely picky with what I get it's only when they have like for example a necklace that I really really like the look of then I might buy it but I usually don't buy bracelets and rings from and other stories at all because they just tarnish so quickly where with cuss it's usually not the case so right now they have an arm cuff available it comes in two sizes but the size is almost the exact same like i literally could almost not tell a single difference and then also this like gold drop necklace so these probably wouldn't tarnish and just thought they were really cute look so i actually might uh, end up getting the arm cuff for myself myself as well thought it was uh, really nice. Then we're moving on to my favorites in another stories and first I'm just showing something that I didn't try on for this video But just wanted to show them and that is these red shoes because right now a pub of red is really in and I don't have red as part of my color scheme, but I'm not gonna lie It is pretty cute and I'm also tempted to uh, break my own rule and, and get something like that But I'm still I'm still contemplating it, but these shoes I have them in black the near identical version of them and I just just wanted to mention these because it's so tempting to go and get something like this because it is a trend in something like Sarah and H&M. I have also done that but just in my experience I don't walk as well in them they don't last me as long but the black sling bags that I have from Adela Stories I have worn them probably like 14 to 20 times and they hold up very well but more importantly they are really comfortable and just I mean if you're anything like me if you buy a good looking shoe but it truly is not comfortable you're just not gonna wear it and uh, this style of shoe from another store is, is and uh, th they are true to size I'm usually between in between European shoe sizes a so 38 or 39 and these I have in a 38 and they're a very good fit then I found this basic Oh, neck almost I mean that's probably not the the right word honestly it's some sort of like high neck but basic tee which looks uh, in the front like it also does in the back and I choose a medium just because that was all that was available in store but I could have probably gone for a small I'm usually in between a, an S and an M I would probably even size down once if you're usually just like exactly one uh, size I also am quite busty and still this was pretty loose but this would be like a really nice look for spring just like with a little bit of jewelry like a summer jacket and either like jeans or pants or a skirt as I'm wearing here and something like this is a little bit more pricey to get at you know a place like and other stories than it would have been in for example Sarah or H&M but as someone who at this point have had I don't want to say countless but I've had quite a few basics such as this one like a razor bag and so on from H&M and Sarah and they just they just don't hold up very well but the basics from another stories do so this is something that's available right now and it also comes in a beautiful sage green which again is not part of my color scheme but is definitely a really cute look then i tried on a top which is not my best look but i do tend to go for tops like this and i have three right now in my wardrobe so i do not need this but you know i was drawn to it so i just wanted to try on a uh, try it on anyway but if you like me if you like these tops with like a slight romantic twist i just wanted to mention that those at another stories uh, because another stories as compared to Cousin Arca does have a little bit of uh, a more like feminine or romantic twist to it and the tops you can get at another stories with this type of design are usually just so well made like the pattern is well made it looks really good it hugs you in all the right places where it's not always the case for every brand where they make this type of top so just throwing that in there then something which is such a good basic to have it wasn't the best fit on me but right now they have a leather skirt available they actually also have another leather skirt available but it was such a bad fit I didn't even include it in the video but we'll pop it up up here but the leather skirt that I tried on and I think for what it is their price point is also it's very uh, reasonable uh, but again like not the best fit for me I do have quite a bit of hips and I'm also very tall but you have just a little bit less hips than I do and if you're not as tall then this is definitely a really good contender for like a permanent leather skirt within your wardrobe just wanted to show it off like it felt extremely luxe I recently bought a leather skirt myself from Arcade I bought one in Bordeaux and I was a little bit worried that I wasn't gonna wear it it's also still available by the way I'm gonna link it below but I have worn it a ton but that one is a little bit more thin where this the black leather skirt uh, that I'm showing from another stories is, is so thick it really is such a luxe look I mean of course depending on your wardrobe but it really is just like a staple that you buy once and then you have it for a really long time then I also tried on 
this sage green bumper jacket. I was wearing similar things when I was visiting in Copenhagen because I was just like borrowing things out of my best friend's uh, closet. And because she lives in Copenhagen, and I live in Zurich. She does have some like cool girl, cool girl items that I usually don't gravitate towards when I live here, but I'm definitely like getting my eyes opened a little bit. So I did try this on in store and it's just a really nice good quality well-made bumper jacket to be honest i personally really like the the shine it has to it as you'll be able to see as i'm showing it off you can also see that like the sleeve has a little bit of like an extra design which in my opinion just gives it that like e extra uh, twist where you can see that it's something that's made with like intention and like there's put a little bit more effort into like the design rather than just like basic bumper jacket which is something that i really appreciate in a lot of items like if there's given like a little bit of extra to it but where it doesn't like throw off the integrity of the classicness of this type of item, if that makes sense. Then after this, I went to Arcade. And the first thing that caught my eye is definitely like the pop of red trend. As you can see in this photo, there's a bag hanging in the back, but then also they have red Mary Janes currently available. And Mary Janes are not really my look, so I didn't go for them. And I didn't, you know, try them on. But the bag I did try on, I actually did so on my way out because I was like, you know what? Red is not my color. I shouldn't fall in love with it anyway, but then I couldn't stop myself on my way out and I'm not gonna lie, it really is such a good look. Obviously it's a real leather bag and the price point for something that, you know, is sort of like a trend, but hopefully you will keep in within your water for a really long time. And that is really high quality is, in my opinion, so reasonable. And Arca does a lot of bags. They also do that like square bag that a lot of people have at this point. And yeah, they're definitely known for like making bags of nice quality. And this was really cute. And then also this bag with like the, the gray wool coat. Oh, it would look so good. But then I did try something else in red, just to like try it out with my complexion and, and everything. And it was this like wool, or was it cotton? Actually, I don't remember. I mean, you can go check yourself in the description, but this really nice pop of red cardigan. This cardigan was like extremely thick, extremely luxe. I mean, obviously now I'm wearing like a, a white shirt underneath it, but this is definitely something where I would wear the, the cardigan just as like an outfit. Like I would style that and then, you know, maybe wear like my locket with it. And uh, yeah, this cardigan is definitely like a really good look for this like pop of red trend, if that's something you're going for. And again, it really is like a high quality item. It does have that like luxe feel that comes with when things are like really well structured and also quite Thick. Then I tried on something just a little bit different. This is in style with like all of the wool jackets, but this does have these like utility pockets, which is not necessarily what I like to go for. However, this was indeed really well made. Here in this picture, you can see it's a little bit too like yellow-esque because this really is just like a true camel. So for those of you with warm toned wardrobe, if you don't mind the, or if you like the utility pockets, then this is definitely a really beautiful jacket. I don't remember exactly if I got the bag as well but like the way the the bag is designed as well it's pretty rare to see something like with this type of you know bag also designed like usually with a piece like that i feel like the bag is usually left pretty alone but i thought it looked really good and of course also pretty heavy very well made like the filtered type of fabric that it is is also something that's probably not gonna peel then because denim is in and i actually myself am slowly starting to look for like a denim jacket i'm not like in a rush to get something i do have like a denim trench coat for example but this i just wanted to try it on it does have a belt that you can tie it with which i thought just personally was really cute obviously this a, this is a bit of like a twist or an add-on to like the regular denim jacket but uh, yeah I thought it was really good and also just like the denim the look of the jacket was really nice so there's really not much more to to say it's a pretty good look and I just wanted to show this off I definitely really liked it then I tried on another pub of red this beautiful silk dress from Arcade. And this is not the first time I've seen this dress. I've seen it in different colors. I think I've actually also tried it on once in pink. And I don't particularly like this type of top for my body type. So I never end up getting them or, and I won't. But I just wanted to include it anyway and try it on and get a feel for like the fabric because it is a silk and the way it's cut it makes it fall really beautifully on your body. And I noticed, for example, that Sarah right now has a similar dress, although it's a little bit more of like a slip, slip dress, but also in a very beautiful red color. Of course, that one is satin. It's made from not viscose, but polyester. And in my experience, those dresses 
from fast fashion they will start like wrinkling and also like the the fabric will start like snatching and it will really destroy this like beautiful sleek silky look that these dresses you know they, they have to them and you will probably pretty quickly end up not wearing it where like when you get the real deal silk or even viscose i have one from mesmo duty actually which is a pink viscose dress it would still have been better in silk but uh the, the viscose is doing pretty well but this one is just so beautiful and the light just hits it so well also just another thing because now it's just you know watching a little bit closer i mean you can just wear like um nipple covers uh, that's what i do with dresses like this but i mean i didn't bring those to like wear it in the store and also i'm quite busty again so it does look maybe like a little bit uh, much but i would just wear nipple covers I, I do that in a lot of my own clothes actually maybe i'll i'll link to some below i'll link to my favorites i always wear those and they're really good then i tried on this top i also wanted to show off ultimately i'm not gonna get it but i think it leans a lot on this like vest trend that's been around for a while and there are often these like trends or styles where like oh it just looks so good but whenever you uh, try to wear it yourself it's just not working that's a vest for me where i feel like this top like for me is like a it's a mix between mix between the best look and just like a regular top and i did like it but in the end wasn't the best fit and just knowing myself i have better versions of this type of look already at home that i will probably wear over it but again here like the quality is also really nice and it's a very like structured and thick fabric then a couple of basics i'm just gonna breeze through these next two one is this like boat neck in baby blue it's not the best fit because they quite simply didn't have it uh in a, in a size that fit me i tried it on in a medium i got probably done with a small if not even like an extra small i mean small is probably best but quite big in the sizes for what they are in my experience uh, in my opinion but uh, the baby blue is also gonna be very in and for me it's my color so i thought this was also like a really cute look or it would have been if it fit and then i also found actually don't remember if this is wool or cotton but again you'll be able to see it yourself in the description but also just a very basic top in this baby pink again it does have this like very luxe and nice like thickness to it which when you get something of a basic like this in some of like the fast fashion stores it'll pretty quickly start to like i don't know how to like i say this in a lot of videos but really how i feel like it starts to just deteriorate where these types of like higher quality stuff they just don't these were the favorites that i was able to try in store but i just wanted to include something else and that is because i have two sweaters from arcade i also have one from another store so that's the gray one but i'll start with the ones from arcade because i know that they're still available they are these 100 wool sweaters i have it in brown and in black they're still available and i just want to say that they are such good quality i mean you could go somewhere else and find a probably a better quality wool sweater you know i'm definitely not going to deny that but if you are someone who likes it to be a little bit easier and accessible and don't want to like go on a long journey to find like the you know the best wool sweater there is i mean i'm trying to it sounds like i'm talking these down i'm really not i have two of them and i really 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 like them i've worn them a ton especially the black one i really live in it um sometimes and i think i've washed it four times I think in the short amount of time that I've had it, I've had it for probably like six months now or something like that. I usually don't wash wool or cashmere that, that much because you quite simply don't have to. But because I've lived in the sweater so much and also the way I've lived in it, I have needed to wash it and you just, you cannot tell. I mean, obviously I wash it on a wool program, but I do wash it in the machine and you just cannot tell and the the pilling on both of them is so minimum the fibers haven't like they haven't shrunk at all uh, with like any of the washes I, the other one i've also washed but only once they have them available in multiple other colors right now as well so if you are looking for nice quality sweaters that you will be able to keep with you for a really long time definitely don't sleep on those and then really similar but not quite the same the one i have from another stars which is longer it's a bit more like uh, this one is a very thin Thick, where the one from Arcade, they're also thick, but they're like a softer and bouncier thickness. Where the one from Another Stars is just very dense, and that is the wool one. They also have this style available in cashmere, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that as well because in case it's still available, I'm actually not 100% sure it is, but I will be linking of course as with everything else and there are just some really great options if you're still looking for some sweaters to go into spring that you will be able to to keep so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like so that i know and i will see you in the next video bye guys